Jake Paul and Tyron Woodley going at it. I'm going to talk about some of that in this video. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Now, let's jump right into the mix. They did a face-off, and the two are going at it. I've been having fun with it. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram at Boxing Ego. This was funny. You know, this was a funny moment. And I made this graphic as a joke because the clip, if you watch it, it's um, being mediated by Ariel Helwani of UFC, kind of MMA fame. And they're doing like a face-off like they used to do back with the HBO days with Jake Paul and also Tyron Woodley. Then you were In it, Tyron Woodley, I guess, accused, he accused Jake Paul of kind of faking like he cares about fighter pay and stuff like that. And he says he doesn't really care about those things. Now I can't show you the video for copyright reasons, but we can listen. Refer to it as the fake Paul fund, that you don't truly care about this sort of thing, that you're just putting on an act caring about fighter pay. Do you want to respond to that? Yeah, I mean, ask any fighter on the card. This is all their biggest payday of their careers by far. Ask Amanda Serrano. Ask Charles Conwell. Ask Tyron Woodley. Ask you know, these nuts. Or, <laughs> when's Jake Paul was saying, you can ask anyone on the card. Ask Amanda Serrano. This is their biggest payday. Ask Amanda Serrano. Ask Charles Conwell. Asked Tyron Woodley, is this the biggest check? And he said, ask these nuts. <laughs> Got him. This is this is good stuff. Listen, I told you a lot of people are mad at the Jake Paul entrance and, and stuff. Listen, I've already ordered the fight, which we'll get to in a second. This is entertainment. This is hilarious. The man said it's so stoic. He sounded like a cyborg, like he was from Cyberdyne Systems Model 101, T800 model. He said, ask these nuts. There are a lot of clickable clips here in this clip sort of you, well, sure. this clip you have Tyron Woodley who says that Jake Paul is a culture vulture and he's asking he says is anybody in your neighborhood dressed like you do you have why you have five bust down Cuban links on why you got five chains on where'd you get that you a culture vulture you got five chains on you ain't Nipsey Hussle Let's take a listen. What you're doing is, what are you wearing? It's, it's embarrassing. Like, it's, it's embarrassing like you got on five up. necklaces. You ain't Nipsey Hussle. It's like How many people in your up. neighborhood dress like that? You, you How act many like you're from your the neighborhood streets. dress like that? You act like you're from the streets. I'm from Ferguson, Missouri, really? the murder capital of the world. Really? What are you talking Tyrone about? Tyrone Woodley, the softest Where are you from? thing from Missouri. Where are you from? Tyrone Woodley, the softest thing from Missouri. How many people in your neighborhood dress like that? Tell you're me. so tough. How many people were bust Let down Cuban links? Answer so my gangster. question. Since you're so gangster. I'm from Ferguson. I answer. How many people in your neighborhood yeah. dress like you? How many rap videos have you watched? Exactly. How many? Culture. That's what I am. I lived it. Since and rapping about my lifestyle, you a fucking mean, joke. Mean. And you trying to vulture from it. Since you're and come so Sunday, you know what's gonna happen? You're gonna get hit with a whole bunch of culture. Mm -hmm. And your whole jawline gonna shift that long jawline, probably from PEDs. Since sort of what you're doing. Wow. It was getting intense. He said, You're a culture vulture, you got five chains on, you not Nipsey Hustle. How many people in your neighborhood? dressed like this how many rap videos is you watching you inspired by the culture and he says come sunday night you gonna feel the culture i'm gonna hit you with the culture and he said i'll rearrange your long jawline probably from peds so he basically is outing jake paul believing that jake paul is on something right now i'll put the link in the description for showtime's video so you can watch this they they uploaded it to youtube um, it's some, it's entertaining. It's definitely yeah, entertaining. Yeah. This one was weird. This was Jake Paul. He said that he took the fight because of Tyron Woodley's booty. Listen. A big booty. Like that's part of the reason I wanted to fight him. Uh, he's thick. Like he's super uh, thick. I wanted to grip them cheeks low key when I first saw uh, him. He got, he got a big booty. Like that's part of the reason I wanted to fight him. Uh, he's thick. Like he's super uh, thick. I wanted to grip them cheeks low key when I first saw uh, him. He got, he got a big. So he said he has a big Tyron Woodley has a big booty, which is why I wanted to fight him. You know, I guess he's he's trying to be funny or sarcastic with that. He he missed me with that one. But anyway, I advise you guys to watch it. It's entertaining stuff. I ordered the fight 
which leads me to my next point. You can also follow me at Boxing Ego on Twitter. I pinned this comment showing you guys I have ordered the fight. This is the details to the Boxing Ego watch party. We are doing a watch party for Paul versus Woodley. Again, I've shown you. You can go to my Twitter if you need, you know. But I showed you. I've ordered the fight. Sunday is going down. So this is all the information. This Sunday, August 29th, I've already paid for the fight. I am not showing you the fight. That would be illegal. My channel, we in good graces. That's that's against YouTube community guidelines. I don't do none of that. So I'm not showing you the fight, but come back for a good time, entertainment, commentary, things like that. Showtime should really be paying me to put their links in because they this is full full disclosure as a YouTuber. I know all the community guidelines as a YouTuber when you're doing affiliate work. You're, you have to declare it, you know, and make that advisable. So just so you guys know, I have the information. If you guys want to legally order the fight, they should really pay me for these links. I normally I just, you know, I did a courtesy courtesy drop, but normally I don't plug nobody's program like that. You know, if we're not getting a cut of it, because I know my reach, I know my fan base and it's just business. But either way, the Boxing Eagle Watch Party 435 p.m. Pacific Standard Time this Sunday. I'm looking forward to a fun fight based on the ass these nuts. And, you know, you guys go watch the face off. It was some good stuff. The last thing I will say is there's a lot of boxers that, you know, Jake Paul gets a bad rap and stuff like that. But hey, he's not bothering me. I'm just being real. He's not bothering me. Like some people want to see him get flattened from the trash talk and stuff like that. But he looks like my thing is this. He looks like he's taking the sport seriously. He looks like he's in shape. He's ruffling feathers. He's making noise. He's making an entertainment. And same with Tyron Woodley. So I know I've already spent the money. It already came out of my PayPal. I know what I'm getting into with this particular fight. Hopefully it's good. I actually want to see Amanda Serrano and a couple other fights in the card. They got Daniel Dubois. They got Tyson Fury's brother, Tommy, who, you know, if if they both emerge as, as victors, I think that's what they're looking at, possibly doing a Jake Paul and Tommy Fury fight in the future. So I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at the whole situation. Jake Paul's making sure people get paid in boxing. He's entertaining it and, you know, making it entertaining. Tyron Woodley, he's funny. He's making it entertaining. He looks in shape. He looks ready to go. So I'm not mad. I'm, I'm really not mad. That's dope, him and his mom. Yeah, I'm not mad at none of this. So you guys, a lot of people are... There's worse issues. All these belts and robberies and racist judges in boxing. We got way more stuff to work. Wor Who is that? Man, what the hell? What is this? Oh, this is some OnlyFans. Hold on. Let me get off this. Yeah, y'all got me distracted. Anyway, there's way other, like, more severe problems that we're experienced. I ain't worried about Jake Paul. He, he's just doing his thing, getting his bag. I ain't worried about it. Problem Child versus T. Wood this Sunday. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. I had to make the video because I told you I give credit where credit's due. Shout out to Showtime for one, promoting the fight. Shout out to two, the fighters for promoting the fight. That's one of the things that's missing. Old school grassroots promotion. Tyron Woodley, Jake Paul, they're making it interesting. They're trash talking. They're making you want to. So there's a lot of fighters in the game. Now, I don't know. Maybe they have to get a right dance partner. Maybe they need a PR person. Maybe they need to, you know, muster up something in them or whatever. But I give credit where credit's due. They are making some noise. This The fights, they're making me want to see the fight. You know, I'm happy I spent the 50, 60 plus tax or whatever because they're at least entertaining. And when I see, like, my thing is this. I see I see the fact, I see the effort. I'm, I'm going to give you, I'm going to pay for just the effort. Like, you ever we all been to like San Francisco or a place like that. You're on the pier. You see an artist and he's drawing pictures and it's like five dollars for a picture. He might not be the best artist, but he out there in the cold and, and diligent and trying to make his money. I'm going to pay for the effort. So I want to see. I like to see the fighters that they look like they're taking this serious and they look like they're trying to entertain and, and give the fans the money worth and stuff like that. I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at that one bit. So we'll see how it all plays out. 
Let me know who you think wins the Boxing Ego Watch Party. You guys are going to get my reaction live because I'm going to be here west side, baby. Subscribe to the channel. I'll try to put a card at the end of this video. So you guys, you can right now, I've already set up the video. You can go right now to the Boxing Ego Watch Party. Leave a comment and like the video and stuff like that. And ultimately, we're going to see what happens with these two. We're going to see. Sunday is among us. And one of them had the loser has to get a tattoo on their face. So, or I, actually, I I made that face part. I don't know why I even said on their face. I think because I was looking at the face off. I made that last part up. But they got a tattooist who's gonna, I guess, go to the locker room and get I love the other person's name on them or something. So stay tuned. We are gonna keep rocking boxing ego the best ever. I'm out.